next into the tank, a West Australian app developer with a bold business plan. My name's Robbie Adams. I'm here to ask for $1 million for a 25% stake in the company, which is called Mobilizer. All over the world, both employees and employers are struggling with the concept of bring your own device. Mobilizer solves that problem by allowing you to tag your contacts. As you make your calls, Mobilizer will then sync with your call log and give you a report at the end of the month on how much you spend on work, how much you spend on personal takes away having to go through your mobile bill, highlighting what's a work call, what's a personal call. Mobilizer takes the question out of how much we're actually claiming on a tax return and starts firming up the lines which are getting blurred by the use of our mobile devices. Mobilizer will be expanding into a market of 230 million people in the next 12 months. Give us an expected net profit in 12 months of $7.8 million. And just confirming that was $1 million for 25% of your company? That's correct. Yes. OK. What is your revenue to date? We've only been out for a month. OK, so it's pre-revenue? Yes. While you're on the money bit, tell us how you monetize it. How do you build up all this revenue to get to the net 7.8 million? So how do you so charge a, each individual customer? Yeah, so it's a 30-day free trial with a $4 subscription fee after that per month. So, so who's, who's paying? the customer? Yeah. Uh, the customer is the individual. So Mobilizer is business to customer. Mobilizer Plus is going to be business to business. I'm confused here. I know I've employed a few people over the years, and what we found in, in, in the last sort of decade with the emergence of an all-you-can-eat phone bill, we haven't accounted for individual phone calls for at least a decade. I'm not too sure about other... No, same thing. I was thinking no, exactly the same thing. There is no fringe benefit tax reporting. No, there's not. Providing, providing you keep under a certain threshold, there is not. I know of no business in Australia that needs this. We've spoken to one of the two major supermarket retail chains in Australia uh, two days ago, and they haven't got a solution for this at this stage. Do they have a problem for this? They do. Really? Yeah. I don't believe it. I don't believe there's a problem, but like Steve. I look at our structure, and I think just with a simple policy, we've sort of got it solved. H how much have you spent on this, mate? I've put in... Uh, Approximately 400,000, 450,000 into this. Wow. I'm sorry? He's invested 450,000 in this. He put in half a million bucks. Robbie Adams is hoping to raise $1 million for a 25% share in his subscription based phone app, Mobilizer. All the sharks are still in, but things are not looking good. How much have you spent on this, mate? Approximately 400,000, 450,000 into this. Wow. I'm sorry? He's invested he 450,000 in this. How? We have utilised uh, the R&D tax incentive as well. You put in half a million bucks. There is around that. Where's yes. that gone, Robbie? That's a lot of money for, to build a... It is. Some of it has gone into the... Well, most of it has gone to the design. The back end is actually quite, uh, quite convoluted. It is a lot of money, I do agree. However... Where'd you get it to, from? Uh, my own investments. Robbie, can I give you some advice? This is a really bad idea. I, I don't see a market. You spent $400,000 without a single customer. Mate, if I can employ you out of this, please stop and take a breath. That's a staggering amount of money, right, to spend on something that I think there's no problem for. Your, your valuation is, is just ballistic. 
it, regardless of what you spent, it, it's worth what it's worth. And right now, it's actually worth five times your profit today, which is pretty small. I am out. Yep. I'm yep. willing to give you some advice, but it won't be to continue down the road you've gone, just to yep. give you some forewarning. No, for sure. Yep. As a consumer, there's so many apps already on my phone. Yes. And for me to then pay you, which there's pressures on our expenses. It's not a lot, but it's still a bit of a chipping away. So I don't think the consumer would use it. I wish you luck, yep. but I'm out. Yep, no worries, thank you very much. So I think the moral of the story is you've got to start with a customer and see where there's a real need, who's willing to pay and who isn't before you start investing the kind of money you've spent. Maybe the best way to salvage the software you've got is think of other applications for it, because frankly, none of us are very optimistic about the business model. But on that basis, I'm out. Robbie, the consumer market is a very cluttered space and getting airtime with anybody is really difficult. It's very expensive. And when I look at an offering, whatever that is, I think, how important is that into that person's life? And what would they, how, how close are they going to be to that? I wish you all the best. Yeah, thank you very much. But I'm out. If this is a good idea and there's a problem, there's bound to be other people out there already in the space and probably spending millions to capture the market that you're after. I hope it goes well for you. I hope you just hit that sweet spot and at worst get your money back and at best make a $7.8 million profit. And I hope I regret the decision, but I'm out. Yep, no problem. Thank you very much for your feedback. Thanks, Robbie. Good luck, Robbie. Thanks Thank very much for your time. Look forward Thank to you. See you later. When you're first starting out, getting through the gatekeepers is extremely difficult. And um, that's why any advice that these guys can offer is fantastic. We, we sat there and systematically destroyed his effort and he took it quite well. Oh, look, it. I felt, so, I, yeah. it, I, and look, hopefully, he actually, in years time, he goes, ha, huh, told you we're wrong, but I don't think so. <laughs>